Hey guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Olife Dry Trip Commuter Backpack and Grip Panel Laptop Sleeve, which is a pretty interesting combo that you can purchase either together as a bundle or separately. Both items come in at a pretty budget-friendly price range. I'm always on the lookout for these types of options for anybody who has a little bit of a tighter budget or who just doesn't want to invest as much into a backpack but still needs something reliable. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my experience using these over the past couple of weeks. I'll show you how I've loaded them out, walk through all the features, and I'll also talk about how they compare to some of the other similar options that are currently on the market. Before jumping into the video, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny and on this channel, we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off with the outside of the bag, the aesthetic here is an interesting mix of modern and functional. It feels fairly clean around the outsides of the bag. It's also got kind of this shinier material that I typically associate more with kind of tech focused bags like Nomadic or Air. But then on the front, you have some straps and PALS webbing, hook and loop backing. So you have a little bit more of that functional, almost tactical vibe. And I think it's an aesthetic that's still pretty versatile and is gonna work well across a number of environments, whether you're going into the outdoors, exploring a city, or traveling. As far as the materials, the bag feels pretty solidly built. This exterior fabric is a 420D polyester that has a TPU laminate, so it feels like it's gonna hold up well to rougher usage while offering plenty of weather resistance. And then you also have some nice and well-protected YKK zippers all throughout. Continuing along the outside of the bag, I was a little bit sad that there's no external water bottle pockets. You do have attachment points on each side that you can pair with a carabiner if you wanna hang on additional accessories like a hand sanitizer. I've also seen on Old Life's site that they attach some of their flashlights and other EDC gear. And then on the front, you have the two straps which have these really nice, almost G-hook type attachments. And this is gonna be a great spot to hold something like a yoga mat or maybe a skateboard, a jacket. These aren't adjustable, so you'll kinda of have to be strategic with what you place here and it has to really be tight enough to be held in place by the straps themselves. Uh, so would have liked to have seen maybe some adjustability there, but they feel durable. I'm glad to have them for the types of things that I might attach here. And then on the front you have this laser cut PALS webbing. So you can clip on EDC items, accessories with the hook and loop backing. You can customize it with patches. There's also tear away pouches that you can use. So really like the flexibility that this provides here. And then at the top of the bag and on the side, you have a couple of handles that have the same sort of uh, rubbery or TPU polyester type material. So it doesn't feel like it's gonna tear or anything like that. This isn't the most comfortable material and the edges are a little bit sharper. So if it's heavier and you're holding it for a longer period of time, might not be as comfortable, but for the most part, it's easy to get your hands in and out and they get the job done when you need to pick the bag up or carry it like a briefcase. Moving into the capacity, the bag comes in at about 20 liters, which is a really nice daily bag size in my opinion. I was able to hold most of the items that I normally like to carry with me and it didn't feel super tight. And then I like that this bag maintains a really slim silhouette, even when it's a little bit more packed out and hugs your back nicely, making it great for navigating crowded areas jumping on a public transit and carrying on to pretty much any domestic or international airline. Taking a look at the straps and the back paneling, so far the bag has been pretty comfortable to wear. I was actually surprised how much padding is included in the straps here. So it's pretty robust, but really soft right out of the box. On the inside, you have an almost gel-like kind of material here. Not quite as breathable as an air mesh maybe, but still really soft. And the straps also have a nice width to help prevent the bag from digging into your shoulders when it's a little bit more packed out. At the top, you can see that the straps are maybe a little bit close together. I know some people don't like it when there's not enough space here. I haven't felt any sort of pinching, particularly as I wear this one slightly lower on my back, but something to keep in mind. And then on the straps, there is no sternum strap included or really the ability to add one, but I don't really think that's a big deal with a bag of this size. Moving into the back paneling, this has also been pretty comfortable. There is some padding distributed throughout. It's not quite as robust as the one that we saw on the straps. And there's also not a ton of breathability. There's no air mesh, there's no elevation or air channel. So your back will tend to get a little bit sweatier while you're wearing this. On the back, however, you do have some nice additional features such as this simple slot here on the back that you can use to hold your phone or a wallet while you're walking around. There's no zipper here, which is interesting. It's different from other bags that I'd seen. So not quite as secure as I would like to see, but still maybe a good place to toss something that you either wanna keep close to your back or that you wanna grab quickly while you're traveling. 
And then you also have a nice luggage pass through that's gonna allow you to rest this on a suitcase while traveling to save some weight on your back. Jumping into the organizational options, the bag keeps things really simple. There's just one quick access pocket on the front. It's got this vertical zipper, which is actually pretty big. I really like the amount of space that's offered in this compartment. And then the fact that the zipper is oriented this way means you can swing the bag around and reach into this pocket without taking it all the way off. This comes up a decent amount, so there's enough volume even for some thicker accessories. There's no internal organization, so everything that you place on the inside will tend to slide down towards the bottom. So it's really good with pouches. In my case, I just placed some of the items that I use most regularly here. So I have my AirPods, a pair of sunglasses with their case. I have a portable battery to charge my phone. And then I also have a deck of playing cards. And then moving into the main compartment, this is a top loading bag. You can get a better look at this really well protected zipper. Very impressed with the weather resistance on this bag so far. And then very simple open main compartment here. I really like these simpler compartments as they work well with bulkier items. And so diving into what I currently have here are my Beat Studio wireless headphones. I have the Evergood Civic Access pouch, two liters. And then I also have my DJI Mavic Mini with its hard shell case. So even with those bulkier items, still didn't really feel like the bag was exploding. There was still some space at the top. And then with the amount of space that's offered here, as always, I could probably use this for a weekend trip by you know, tossing in a compressible packing cube, my dot kit, and an extra pair of shoes. And then one thing about this bag is that it doesn't have a built-in protective laptop compartment per se, but Olife also sells this laptop sleeve that you can buy as a bundle with the bag or on its own if you just want one or the other. Uh, but I think it's an excellent pairing. This sleeve itself has actually been surprisingly protective for my device. I've been impressed with how functional this ends up being. It's got a handle at the top, a couple of attachment points. So you could probably pair it with different types of bag. It's got this Velcro on the back to secure it to the back of this bag that I'll take a look at in a second. And yeah, I just really love the space and organization that this accessory provides. You have a zippered pocket on the bottom that's gonna be a good spot for cables, chargers. It's also got a soft fleece lining on the inside. So if you wanna place your phone in here or something else that's more delicate, it'll you know give it a little bit more protection. And then behind that, you have a tablet sleeve that's got padding and a soft fleece lining on both sides. So a great spot for your tablet if you don't tend to use a case. I actually struggled to fit my iPad mini in here because I have a case, so it just felt a little bit tight. But if you don't have a case, perfect to kind of throw it in there to give it some protection. Then you have some organization here at the top, an elastic slip pocket that you know will mold around whatever you place in here. I just have my Apple Magic Mouse. You have a little loop. It's gonna be a great spot to attach something with a carabiner, your keychains, or maybe another flashlight. And then next to that, you have a couple of small slots that are gonna be great for pens, styluses. You also have some webbing on the front of those. So I don't have that many pens typically. I just have the Ridge Bolt Action Pen here, as well as one of Olight's uh, flashlights that I've featured on the channel a couple of times. And then behind those, you have yet another slip pocket. This is pretty slim and tight. There's not a lot of elasticity here, so great for maybe a thinner notebook, some papers, uh, you know, or additional cables that you wanna be able to reach easily. And then all the way at the back, you have the laptop sleeve. It's secured down with this Velcro flap here. And this should be able to hold up to a 13 inch laptop comfortably. I like that the sleeve itself offers a pretty good amount of padding, and it also has that soft fleece lining on both sides. Currently what I have here is a 13 inch MacBook Air and that fits in there comfortably. You can see there's not a ton of leftover space. So, you know, maybe the 14 inch MacBook Pro or other 13 inch laptops, but anything bigger than that, I definitely don't think would fit. So pulling it out, you can get a sense of the size here. And yeah, I mean, just a really impressive accessory, especially for the price point. And then the ability to add just a little bit more tech protection and organization inside of the bag while being able to take it out and use it on his own, make this a really versatile accessory. And then taking a look at the rest of the main compartment here. On the back, you have more PALS webbing and hook and loop backing so that you can configure it with other accessories. If you prefer, you can clip things on, very similar to the front. I will definitely be pairing this with the laptop sleeve. And then behind everything else, you have one additional zippered pocket that goes down about the length 
of my fingers. So great as a place to store smaller items that you don't want getting lost. In the bottom of the bag, in my case, I'll probably just use the sleeve here and don't want to put anything behind to cause any sort of bulging or anything like that. So in general, a very simple but useful bag, especially when paired with the laptop sleeve accessory. And if you're looking for something functional, weather resistant, and that's also gonna come in at a really reasonable price point, then this is gonna be a solid option to check out. And so to wrap up, it's been a pretty good experience testing out the Olife Dry Trip Commuter Backpack and Grip Panel Laptop Sleeve over the past couple of weeks. You can currently purchase this on Olife's site, starting at about $60 for the backpack on its own. I believe the laptop sleeve is gonna be between $20 to $30, and then you can buy them as a bundle. I think it comes in at around $80. I'll also include a discount code for 10% in the description below if you wanna check that out. And to me, that's a pretty reasonable price point for the features and the build quality that the bag has to offer, and is definitely gonna compare well to other similar bags in this price range. And so as I was testing these out, the first bags they made me think of are some of the options that Nightcore has released recently that are also in a more budget-friendly price point. We've looked at the BP-16, 18, and the 23 or 24 liter backpack, which is probably my favorite of the grouping. That 24 liter bag has just a great organizational layout. I really love the tactical aesthetic that it has, clamshell style opening, it's got a pretty comfortable harness system. And yeah, it's just gonna be a very reliable, simple bag that is gonna come in at a reasonable price point. So if you're looking for something with just a little bit more of that tactical vibe and some additional built-in organization, that's gonna be a great option to consider. Another bag this made me think of is the Fjall Raven Raven 20, which is a really fantastic value. It's a durable bag that has a really cool heritage vibe, great organizational layout, padded laptop compartment. The harness system was recently updated. We can see that in the review that I did for the newer version of the 28 liter bag, but the smaller 20 liter bag is also very capable. Two external water bottle pockets. It just kind of checks off so many of the boxes for an awesome EDC bag. And it also comes in at a very reasonable price point. So if you like that type of aesthetic or you want something that's gonna be really reliable and provide lots of pocketing, then that's gonna be a fantastic option to consider. And then the last option that I'll mention here is the North Face Jester backpack, which is another more budget-friendly option from the North Face, but still maintains a lot of the things that make their bags so awesome. So it's got a very comfortable harness system, a padded and suspended laptop compartment, and a pretty good amount of space. It also has a simple but effective organizational layout, external water bottle pockets. It's got a little bit more of an outdoorsy and technical vibe as it has the bungee cord on the front, but it's just a really reliable, comfortable bag that also comes in at around $100. You can find it for maybe a little bit less. Build quality is gonna be pretty similar to this, although it's not quite as weather resistant, but if you are looking for something that really maximizes comfort for that budget price, and that's gonna be one of the best options to take a look at. With that being said, both the commuter backpack and laptop sleeve hold up really well against all those options, and if you're looking for a more budget-friendly combination of accessories to keep your stuff dry and protected for your day-to-day, -day, then these are gonna be some really solid options to consider. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you all think of the Olife backpack and laptop sleeve combo and how it compares to some of the other similar budget-friendly backpacks and laptop accessories that are currently on the market. If there's any similar options that you think I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I wanna thank the company for sending the items for me to test out and to you guys for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.